on a god level the sun the sky you can see the vibe we ride the high always on a high level so open up your eyes i can never be controlled let them know five on the helicopter driving me guns up but they want you just to envy let them see i'm the first to say and now it's time you just believe it i got too many fakes made lots of foes these people cold talk down your dreams because they know they can't come close don't shake no hands just to your friends i walk alone i see both sides of all the titles you need to grow i've been lost in mind but i ain't like the others no more god i'm learning lessons as i go you're only wasting time tell the devil there's a door Praying God is only trying to test me for the You'll throw me on my That my Brooklyn go see side rock, south side, C12, 911, grr, to the reality, we still outside. Mine on the riches, hard in the trenches. You can't throw dirt on the underground, we thrive in it. Ghana boy stocks on the rise, Charlie, this flex, no day ready. See, we would have ride nobody way, we the ones who started with it. Translation, Yanni had to buy, Yanni had Yanni hits. <laughs> this go so hard, even the ops go with it, uh-huh. That's how you know we lit. Yeah, yeah. Grr, uh -huh. Sharing my journey, I'm thankful that people they hear me. Tribe of Joseph, I'm ahead of the bunch. P5, I was starving for months. A running cut team, both of my packets, me need my DNA. Baby, for lunch, but call me a star before BBC. Don't take a lot to get rid of me. Me and them don't get the same. Me and them don't get the same. Oh, I die, they gon' know who the name is. They say I move like I'm nameless. Cause I only got for the money bags, and I don't really wanna be famous, man. We going crazy, we at the top and we never gonna stop Hopping a ghost, I'ma get swayzy I just got off of the jet and I cry My niggas are winning, I hum the a lot I be on go cause I come from the shot I'm shooting back, I ain't ducking no shots Got power like Samson, I cut off the locks Ah, Shabak, ah, Tema In the cut like I'm Fredo Santana Uchi Banton, I hop in the Bama, the world is mine I'm Tony Montana, I'm Pelican Fly Diamonds on me cause I'm rapping a rock I'ma go hard, I ain't killing, I'm soft I'm up in the hills, I feel like I'm Lauren, you ready or not I like who got businesses, I'm CEO of mine, 1980, Prezi, Roly, we been working overtime, the witness, the police, the pigs, I don't eat swine, son of Jacob, this biblical, my flow, the holy God, save money, ground up, in the gutter where they found us, stones in the faint mouth rush, more vacays, more bucks, more race, more foreign trucks, more on the tour bus, more pork cup, toast to the winners, throw it up, uh.
You never throw interceptions, I catch them like O.D. Beckham. Hard to not f the devil when built like Tiana Teller and balling at 27, I feel like Iman Shepard. Know there's a disconnect when the sheep start to lead the shepherd. The weak start to be aggressive, the streets start to be the reverend. Bragging about first class, seated on 9-11, they spirits are not united. A legion, my soul forever. I murder my adolescents, assault with a friendly weapon. I verbally dissect them to help them get back together. Wanting the stranger things, I handle it like 11. My point is I guard the kids. Play for the Celtics. Watch how I Euro step them and curry them like I'm stepping whenever I'm in your town. The warriors in your presence. I manifest my endeavors. I'm blessed and I'm getting better. I walk amongst living legends. Coach Contra will live forever. Hopes. New goals. New goals, baby boo. Got my wrist in these grits trying to whip some new. Mama, I'm gonna introduce my ego since the world's full of villains. Then let's introduce the heroes. We the good guys. No blood on our hands. And it's Tito. She is, she is, she is back. Finna, finna, guarantee though. Don't move back. Type of view is that on the globe. It's a visionary peeking out the window of my soul. Might just fall back. Then they helping hand and play my role. You ain't all that all in the mirror over soul. Call me Reason I, aka Malcolm XL. That's a big pun. Bigger punishment. I give them hell. Getting, getting done. Keep it blunt enough. You can't. Al fin han encontrado el negrito con los unos colorados. El mejor desde Colombia, los estados. Para los que no piensan que yo soy mejor, tú estás, tú estás. Tengo todo, tu rapero favorito, paniqueado, te cuidado. Estos raperos son mis hijos, hautados. Acuérdate que ni hizo eso, ni que te ha gustado. Fíjame permiso, when you copy my stab. It's a bridge, I didn't burn them all with a freestyle. Black on both sides de Colombia, oh, you peep style. Como yo lo hago, ain't nobody funny. is closed but as you can probably tell 
The mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowboys. Outside the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Looking to pass first play is Prescott. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result of 21 yards. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities. And if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And this is incomplete. The Cowboys at 3 0 here in the month of September. And they come in on a pretty good roll here. Winners at three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Here now is second and ten. Prescott. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Now, this defense for the Commanders, they were very strong in the win last week over the Giants. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. 
Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Prescott yet again. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I'm well, quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. When they failed on that third down play, that brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Commanders will take over, but backed up deep in their own territory. First and ten here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 13. On first down, Hal got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he's out right at the 25. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards the pickup, first down Washington. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And he's got Rome. That's strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second and ten, Howell. Robinson's got it. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. 17 yards that time and a Washington first. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To the ground with Gibson and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten early down stuff to put this offense in precarious position we know the securing the point of attack especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D has got to be priority one so after the run for no gain here's second and ten Once more, Gibson. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. 
had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A handoff running left is Gibson. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Powell throwing on third down here. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Against a team coming off a win just as your team did the previous week, you talk about being physical all game now. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot to help enforce the incompletion. Field goal unit and Jerry Slaga from the left hand. This from 34. Sly able to put this one through. And it's 3-0 Washington. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally. But...
division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. All oh, the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. Chase Young, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. Well, let's see here, Charles. He was sacked six times last week. Now a first quarter sack. What's going on in his mind? Well, he's thinking to himself, five offensive linemen. I got sacked six times last week. Let's start thinking about keeping extra people in. Tight end stays in. If I have a fullback or the running back, they stay in and help me block. Maybe not as many receivers in a pattern. Anything to try and slow down that pass rush. Play clock about to expire. Mike McCarthy's going to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. The commanders bringing out the nickel package on third down. Throwing. Prescott. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And that's a big pickup on the first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. The first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. run got three now here's second and seven three nothing after one on EA Sports Coming up on second and seven. They go to Elliott again. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. 
On third down, Elliott. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. First down, Prescott. That's into the hands of Tolbert. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. What well, that you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw again on second down. Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 12-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Prescott to throw it. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. He wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. For the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. With that last effort, he has reached now 10,000 career rushing yards. Congratulations. Big time congratulations. That also means that his publicist can make sure all the information gets to every voter out there who has a say in the Hall of Fame. Fashion and get a heck of a resume. on third down just one for three thus far here it's third and two they'll try and run for it with Elliott and he will take it in for a Cowboy score Ezekiel Elliott his third rushing touchdown of the year and the Cowboys have taken the lead extra point by Gain is up and good and that makes it a 7-3 lead after the touchdown it's Gay to kick this one away and here comes a return from the middle of the end zone and he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blow is the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. On second down, a run with Gibson. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. 
Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside. And he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. But you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Now he'll look to throw it. And incomplete on the deep ball. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic, and people are bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Off the play fake, Prescott. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Given three on first down, it'll set up a second and seven. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, 
the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Now Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that one results in 35 yards. A team's practicing plays during the week. They're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. Into a mass of bodies, and I think they held him out. They did. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. They'll try again with Elliott. And this time they were waiting for him, as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. This Washington defense, they've stood tall the first two plays. Now third and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense Charles it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room haven't really been able to get anything going up oh and this ball's tipped and intercepted and the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football but that one is going to sting first play of the third quarter and a turnover and you have to know that at halftime they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. <laughs> Following the interception, here's Prescott. Steps away to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Prescott. 
toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Prescott from the gun. This is caught. Touchdown. Jalen Tober, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys take the first turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last time out on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And he definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. A give running right, Gibson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 45 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first down, right back to Gibson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. That was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them with no gain. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. And they'll go ahead and down this one right on the chalk of the 20-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. 
Here's a second and five now from the 25. Pollard going to try the right side. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's about as good as a linebacker can diagnose that play, isn't it? It certainly is, and what he did really well is that while he was diagnosing, he got his feet in motion without actually going anywhere and taking a false step that he had to make up later. He read it, got his feet in motion, and then he just took off and made the play. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. Now Prescott. And that's knocked away and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll go again with Gibson. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a gain of a yard, and that leads to a Washington first down. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. And they're going to get this up to midfield. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Three yards remain for second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now throwing on first down here. That's complete to Robinson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Ten more there and another first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. And they go play action with Hal, sliding out of the pocket. And he'll just get rid of it. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Straight ahead, Gibson. 
70 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Good push up front in that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roll. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets them down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. They'll try to run with Gibson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. They'll try to run it with Gibson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. And now the Washington offense going to stay out there and go for two. Hal throwing for it. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be shoot. Touchdown, Washington. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Commanders have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. Commanders, 18. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Cowboys take over a first down at their own 25 yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. 55 rushing yards, rushing for him now. Just his first three carries. Not sure exactly what he saw that made him decide to hand it off, but a great decision and a fantastic run. From our vantage point, what he saw was a defense that got out of its lanes, got out of its gaps, and they were pretty much running to the quarterback, viewing him as the bigger threat. And look at that wide open space, and he rumbled for big time yardage. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession here at their own 33. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell. Hey, bro, that's in the rules. You can't drop a lineman in coverage. You've been doing it all game. Dog, punt the ball back to me, bro.
Get on the mic. You hear me? That's in the rules. You've been doing it all game. That's in the rules. That used to didn't be in the rules, but it's in the rules this year. So, bro, get, get on the game. Don't try me like that. That's disgusting now. You've been doing it all game now. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about, bro. You've been doing this shit all game. You do that shit every time I play you too. Football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like what the heck do I do with this thing <laughs> and you say no better sight well not for the quarterback to just throw it it's bad enough to throw a pick but to throw one to the big guy but you're right about that now what do I do with it but what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this bar
tell their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it somehow the ball finds its way back to him. A tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. And they've got to go thank the guys on D. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Prescott. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. First and ten, Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Draw play, Elliott. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. Throwing on second and eight, Prescott. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. On third down, it's Prescott. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. It's a short one here. Complete to his tight end. He's got the first down and more than that. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. Stuff to get it done, as you noted. And they did. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. 
A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Inside give to Elliott. And he's able to get it down at a two-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Elliott. Will take this into the end zone for a Calgary touchdown. It finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. An extra point by Gay is up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. He completes this one to Terry McClellan. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. First down, Hal to throw. Throws to his man on the out round. It's complete. That's Robinson. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. From the 45 on second down, Powell. The kidder here is complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 91 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Hardy got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Gibson again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try the left side with Gibson. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. 
as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. Now it's second and nine. Powell to throw. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. He didn't, so it's incomplete. Boy, that one really could have turned this thing upside down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send them after the quarterback and then make sure you blank in the field. Here's Howell. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. Sly able to put this one through. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, he's got a man complete. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As a stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. To throw Prescott. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Here's Prescott. That's caught inside the 20. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Kicks it on the ground with a squib, taking around the 28. One close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. 
Yeah, the effort. That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for the Cowboys, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for Washington, the defeat is their first of the year as they drop to 3-1. And, and they'll try again next week at home. Why would I ever have to cop a chain again when the QB chain birth moves the chains in the game?